In this lesson, we're going to go over derivatives of polynomial functions. So let's say if we have the function f of x, and it's x cubed minus 5x squared plus 7x minus 4. So what is the derivative of that function? So all you need to do is find the derivative of each term separately. So using the power rule, the derivative of x cubed is going to be 3x raised to the 3 minus 1, or 3x squared. Now using the constant multiple rule, the derivative of 5x squared is going to be 5 times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x to the first power. The derivative of x is simply 1, and the derivative of a constant is 0. Now, 5 times 2x is 10x. So this is the answer. It's 3x squared minus 10x plus 7. Now, let's try a similar example. So let's say we have 4x to the fifth power minus 6x cubed plus 8x squared minus 9. So feel free to take a minute and find the first derivative of this function. So the derivative of x to the fifth using the power rule, which is n x raised to the n minus 1. In this case, n is 5, so it's going to be 5x to the 5 minus 1, or 5x to the fourth. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, and the derivative of x squared is 2x. And the derivative of the constant is simply 0. So this is going to be 4 times 5, which is 20. 6 times 3 is 18, and 8 times 2 is 16. And so it's 20x to the 4th power minus 18x squared plus 16x. Now let's say if we have a function that looks like this. Let's say it's 7x times 2x minus x cubed. How can we find the derivative of this function? What would you do? If you see an expression like this one, go ahead and distribute. If we distribute 7x to 2x, 7 times 2 is 14. x times x is x squared. So we're going to get 14x squared. And then if we multiply 7x to negative x cubed, that's negative 7x to the fourth power. So now in this form, we could find the first derivative. The derivative of x squared is 2x. And the derivative of x to the fourth is 4x cubed. So the final answer is going to be 28x. And 7 times 4 is also 28. So 28x minus 28x to the cubed. Now let's say if f of x is equal to 3x plus 2 squared. What's the first derivative of this function? Now, if you're not familiar with the chain rule, it's best to expand this expression. So we can write it twice, since it's squared. And we need to FOIL the expression. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. And then 3x times 2 is 6x. And then we also have 2 times 3x, which is also 6x. And then 2 times 2 is 4. And then if we combine like terms, we can rewrite f of x as 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. So now, in this form, it's going to be very easy to find the first derivative. So if we differentiate x squared, it's 2x. The derivative of x will always be 1. And for the constant, it's going to be 0. So f prime of x is going to be 18x plus 12. And that's the answer. Let's work on one more problem. So let's say that f of x is equal to 4x to the fifth power minus 5x to the fourth power plus 2x to the third, all divided by x squared. What do you think we need to do for this example? The best thing to do is to simplify before finding the first derivative. And if you have a polynomial divided by a single term or a monomial, Divide each term of the polynomial by that monomial. So 
So when dividing by two monomials, you need to subtract the exponents. 5 minus 2 is 3. So this is going to be 4x to the third power. And then 4 minus 2 is 2. So that's 5x squared. And then 3 minus 2 is 1. So this is going to be 2x. So that's f of x in its simplified form. So now we can determine f prime of x. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. The derivative of x squared is 2x. And the derivative of x is 1. So the final answer is going to be 12x squared minus 10x plus 2. So now you know how to find the derivative of a polynomial function.